Hi everyone. So I wanted to go over your work for math today. Um, this is a concept subtract by adding up that we did early on in the year and some of you may have forgotten it. So I just wanna quickly go over what to do. So I'm gonna first start with number two over here. Um, remember, they do an example for you to help you. So remember, the goal is that you wanna start with the smallest number, so 45. So I'm gonna put 45 here and I wanna add up to get 71. So first I might add five to get 50, because remember I wanna work with easy numbers. We like easy numbers in math. Then I have 50 now, so I wanna think what could I add to make another easy number? So I might add 20 to get to 70. Now I have to get to 71, which means I need to add, oopsies, I have 70. I wanna add one more to get to 71. So this bottom line here, this one, it's just telling you to add the three add-ins that you already found. So I'm just gonna add five plus 20 plus one to get 26. And that is my answer. So 71 minus 45 is equal to 26. So you already did the work right here. It's just telling you to rewrite it so that way you know what your answer is. Okay, so that's what you added to get from 45 to 71, you added five and 20 and one to get to 26. It's also kind of like the number lines that we did um, earlier on, on in the year as well. So now number three is the same exact thing, except it doesn't write that last step for you. So you have to do that by yourself. So I'm gonna do this one with you also. So I'm gonna start with 41. Now I wanna think of an easy number I can add. So I am going to add nine so I can get to 50. Now I have 50 and I kind of wanna add 30 to get to 80. Now, since I'm already at 80, so remember I start at 41, I'm at 80, the only two numbers I added were nine and 30. So it actually does have a spot here for you to add that. And then my answer is 39. Does that sound good? So I want you guys to try the rest on your own. Um, do the best that you can. Remember to use the example to help you. Have a good day.